Tokyo is charged with tradition, culture, technology, and just a little bit of chaos. In other words, Tokyo is electric, but it may not be for everyone. Thankfully, taking day trips out of this amazing city is as easy as hopping on a train. But where should you go? Today, we're covering the top 8 day trips to spend your time outside of Tokyo. Hi, and welcome to Excited Wanderer, where we make it easier for you to plan for your next holiday with our short but detailed video guides. And now, Back to the video. Kamakura. This beautiful city by the seaside is one hour away by train from Tokyo. It was once the medieval capital of the country. It is notable for its Shinto shrines, Buddhist temples, lush gardens, and bamboo forests. Today, it is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the Tokyo area. Upon walking a short distance from the station, you'll see a massive red tori gate that marks the entrance to the shopping street of Komachi Dori. This is a great starting point of your journey in Kamakura as there are plenty of shops, stalls, and restaurants to explore. You'll see the popular Ghibli shop as you enter the shopping street. Obviously, a must visit if you're a Ghibli fan. There are many amazing goodies inside and you'll definitely feel like buying everything in the store. There are also many souvenir shops and food stalls that sell some of the most amazing Japanese snacks and treats. Stop on by and try some if you have the time to spare. Once past the shopping street, you'll want to head to the most famous attraction in Kamakura, and that is the Great Buddha Statue. This is a 13 meter or 44 foot tall bronze statue of Buddha that quickly became a symbol of Japan. It has even been deemed a national treasure. To get here, you'll need to take a short walk from the train station, crossing the busy shopping street of Komachi Dori before arriving at the Kotoku Inn Temple where the statue can be found. You'll need to pay an entrance fee of 300 yen or about $2.60 per person to enter the temple grounds. Many locals and tourists love coming here to take photos and admire the statue up close. Odawara Odawara is a scenic city in central Japan. It has major historical significance with the main attraction being the Odawara Castle. This is a fortress that rivals those of Osaka and Himeji Castle and is definitely worth a visit. There's even a museum inside that houses ancient armor and weaponry that were previously used by the ancient samurai clans. If you're on your way to visit the onsen town of Hakone, then Odawara is an easy detour to add to your journey. Once you're done with the castle, you can also visit the Kanagawa Prefectural Museum of Natural History. It has many amazing displays of dinosaur bones, fossils, insect collection, minerals, and more. It is a great place to spend a few hours as you wander around the many exhibits. Inoshima. Inoshima is a small, picturesque island off the coast of Kanagawa Prefecture. It takes 90 minutes to arrive by train from Tokyo. The most well-known attraction is the Inoshima Shrine, with statues honoring Ben Zaiten, the Buddhist goddess of the ocean. There are a few shrines in the temple which you can freely walk around and explore. You should also try the food on the Nakamise Dori shopping street. Here you'll find plenty of snacks that are sold only in Inoshima, such as croquettes filled with shirasu, which is a white bait fish. There's also huge pieces of grilled squid called ikari Kayaki, which is perfect when paired with a mug of Inoshima's local beer. You can also head to the Inoshima Samuel Cocking Garden, a botanical garden that's bursting with a tropical atmosphere. Here you can enjoy different flowers and plants in every season. Continue exploring until you reach the Sea Candle, an observation deck that is one of the symbols of Inoshima. Head on up to get a perfect view of the ocean and Mount Fuji when skies are clear. Lake Kawaguchiko. This lake is a two-hour train ride from Tokyo and is one of the five lakes in the Mount Fuji area. This is easily one of the best spots in all of Japan to see the mountain on a clear day. It is also one of the easiest and most accessible places from Tokyo with direct bus and train connections. I'd highly recommend coming here on a weekend trip instead of a day trip because there are a few interesting things to see and do here. For the best views of Mount Fuji and its surrounding lakes, you'll want to head to the Kawaguchiko 5th station. It is a 15-minute bus ride away from Kawaguchiko Station on the Fuji Subaru Line. The bus costs 1600 yen or 14 US dollars for a one-way ticket and 2300 yen or 20 US dollars for a round-trip ticket. You should also add the Arakurayama Sengen Shrine to your list of places to visit. You will find this shrine if you head east from Kawaguchiko Station for about 4 kilometers. What makes this shrine extra special is the panoramic view from the top. In the cherry blossom season, this view is actually very famous and has been featured in many guidebooks, magazines, postcards, and online photos. If you time your journey to Kawaguchiko just right in the middle of spring, you might be able to experience something very magical, Kawagoe. Visiting the city of Kawagoe will make you feel as if you're traveling to a bygone area in Japanese history. It's a castle town that dates back to the Edo period and features many well-preserved sites. 
It has a famous area called Little Edo that has been well preserved to maintain the historic image. It is packed with souvenir shops, eateries and cafes, all inside these traditional warehouse-style buildings called Kurazukuri. Here, it is common to see people wearing their kimonos and yukatas as they explore the town. One of the main attractions is the bell tower. It is a symbol of Kawagoe that goes back to the 1600s when it was erected by the former feudal lord of the area. It rings four times a day and can be heard from far away. While exploring, you should try out some of the local snacks as well. Kawagoe's specialty is sweet potato, so keep your eyes open for snacks like sweet potato ice cream and sweet potato fries which are very popular. Nikko This serene city is located in an area that's rich in culture and history while being surrounded by beautiful natural landscapes. It is only 2 hours away by train from Tokyo and there's plenty to see and do here. You might want to spend more than just a day here to really get to know all that Nikko has to offer. The city is divided into several areas, each with their own attractions. But if you're only spending a day here, then you should focus on central Nikko where the heart and soul of the city really shines. For starters, head to the Nikko Toshogu Shrine which stands as a magnificent memorial to Tokugawa Ieyasu. He was the founder of the Tokugawa Shogunate which ruled Japan for over 250 years until 1868. But it's not just one shrine, as the lavishly decorated shrine complex consists of more than a dozen buildings set in a beautiful forest. Crafted with beautiful materials and traditional shrine architecture that's not seen anywhere else in Japan. When in Nikko, don't miss your chance to visit one of Japan's three most beautiful waterfalls, the Kigon Waterfall. It is over 100 meters tall and can be seen from a free observation platform that is easily accessible on foot as well as from a paid platform at the base of the falls. As far as nature spots go, the Kigon Waterfall and Lake Chusenji are must-sees, especially during autumn season. Hakone Hakone is a mountainous town just over an hour away by train from Tokyo. It's known for its hot springs and natural beauty. It's also another picturesque area of the country that offers phenomenal views of Mount Fuji. Famous for hot springs, you can opt for a rather unique experience here. Yunesun is a kind of hot spring theme park with baths both inside and out. They have lots of fun themed baths including tubs filled with wine, coffee or even herbs. Separately of course, the most important thing to note is that this is a co-ed swimsuit wearing onsen. It's a good choice for those who want to try the hot spring experience but are just too shy to go fully nude or those who want to share their experience with friends and family. Seeing that the whole Hakone area is a hot spring hotspot, a visit to Owakudani, also known as the Great Boiling Valley, is one of the must visits on any Hakone tour. Riding a gondola up the mountain, you pass over an ominous sulfuric landscape that looks like the lair of smog from Harry Potter. Once you reach the top, you are invited to try the area's signature black eggs, hard boiled eggs that have been cooked in the steaming mineral laden water. Supposedly, they are lucky and you can add years to your life just by eating them. Yokohama City This is Japan's second largest city with a population of over 3 million people and is reachable after a short 30 minute ride by train from Tokyo. It has one of the world's largest Chinatowns, so if you are feeling hungry and want to eat some delicious Chinese cuisine, this should be your first stop. Wander around the many streets that are lined with food stalls, restaurants and a few temples here and there. Yokohama's novelty is the Cup Noodle Museum. It is a lot of fun and the museum is very interactive as it shows the history of instant ramen noodles using a combination of exhibits and workshops. The most popular one allows you to create your own original cup noodle by mixing and matching a variety of soup flavors and toppings. It costs 400 yen and may sell out on busy days. And before you leave Yokohama, make sure to check out the cool giant Gundam robot. Head to the Gundam factory on Yamashita Pier where the moving life-size RX-78F00 Gundam stands tall for all to admire. Ever since its opening in December 19, 2020, it has attracted lots of Gundam fans from all around the world. Some of its attractions include the Gundam Dock, where you can get a closer look at the Gundam. It's a fun place to take some photos even if you're not a fan of the series. What is your favorite day trip out of Tokyo? Share it in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my other videos in the playlist here. I'll see you in the next video.